This is going to be kind of short because I don't like talking. Um, Jess, it's been an honor growing up with you, and I can't wait to have more memories and make more memories. And <laughs> um, Jason, welcome to the family. Um, I'm really glad to have you as a brother. I love both of you. Jess said, make, their, make sure they're prepared for yours, because I do like to talk. <laughs> well, hello, everyone. My name is Jordan Bartolazzi. I'm Jason's best man. We met uh, about four years ago when I was a freshman at Elmhurst College, and then I met Jessica shortly after that. It has been a total blast for me to get to be their friend over the last few years, and an honor to be here tonight. Uh, before I embarrass Jason, I actually want to talk to Jessica first. Um, Jess, you look beautiful today. Gorgeous, right? <laughs> it's official. You pulled it off. The greatest upset in marriage history. <laughs> but Jess, truly today has been just an absolutely awesome day. Uh, I know you put so much work into this, more work than anybody else, and I hope that you do really cherish your wedding day for the rest of your life. However, I was surprised to hear that you were sad when you woke up this morning. Did anybody else hear that? Jessica was disappointed on her own wedding day. At first I was confused and it didn't make sense, but then I realized that although she was excited to marry Jason, she was bummed that she didn't get to marry the best man. <laughs> but seriously, um, first, thank you to Jessica's parents. <laughs> I think I speak for the entire room here when we say thanks. Um, we know that you guys have done so much um, to make today happen, and we really appreciate that. And so. Um, thank you, too, for trusting Jason when he came up last summer and asked you guys to marry your daughter. I know it meant the world to him to have your guys' support, and he respects you guys a lot, so thank you very much. Next, um, Mr. and Mrs. Foreman. Thank you, guys. Mr. Foreman, it was great to spend a lot of time with you this weekend, and I want to especially say thank you to Mrs. Foreman. Um, Last year when Jason and I lived together with Brandon, she was the pretty, smiling, happy face that kept our landlord happy with us. And <laughs> you guys, I know most of you don't know her, so it doesn't mean a lot, but it is an impressive feat that she was able to do that. So <laughs> thanks a lot. Okay, now on to Jason. If you've been around us for the last few years, you know that we've gotten to become some really good friends. My first semester at Elmhurst, Jason taught me what it meant to be a Christian, and then he led me to trust Christ for salvation, and for that I am incredibly thankful. We have lived together, we've labored together, we've laughed a lot together, uh, cried together, I've cried, <laughs> and uh, even done a whole lot of arguing. And so we have had a blast getting to know each other. And Given how thankful I am for uh, the leadership role that Jason has in my life, I thought it was only fitting that my speech tonight would be some tips on things you have taught me that would be good to remember for your marriage. And so, without further ado, here are my four points that you should always remember for your marriage to Jessica. Number one, never lose your confidence. Nothing says confidence like the way our friendship began. Jason called me every Monday night for five straight weeks, and for five straight weeks, I came up with an excuse for why I couldn't go to his Bible study. But by golly, that confidence, on the sixth phone call, for some reason I said yes, and here we are, best friends. <laughs> Speaking of confidence, how about your first date with Jessica? <laughs> for those of you who don't know this classic story, Jason and Jessica met on a boat on Lake Michigan at a social event that our campus ministry put on. Jason, uh, after flaunting his dance moves and making much eye contact with Jessica, 
he made his way downstairs and hoped that she'd follow. And sure enough, down the stairs walks Jessica, who walks up to Jason and says, nice dance moves. To which Jason replies, <laughs> And then in a stunning move of confidence, Jason made his way to a table, sat down by himself, and hoped Jessica would follow. And somehow, for some reason, she did. And here they are. The rest is, went down in history. So, Jessica, the confident one who went and sat by Jason. Maybe you could learn that. Number two, Jason, never stop being your goofy self. I have never met someone quite as eccentric and interesting as you are. One of my favorite examples of this was the time that he thought it would be funny to hide in my wife Stephanie's trunk and scare her. So, uh, he packed up Chronicles of Narnia and his Bible, and of course his headlamp, <laughs> and locked himself into the trunk of Stephanie's car, and proceeded to wait two hours. <laughs> and the, the worst part is, he gave up just as Stephanie was about to leave. <laughs> A lot of times people are going to tell you that marriage is about growing up and being serious and on and on and on, but... I know for a fact that nobody likes your goofiness more than Jessica does. For some reason, she smiles every time you walk in, drenched in sweat and pulling pranks on people. <laughs> so keep it up. Right, Jess? <laughs> One quick tidbit that might be worth changing about the goofy self. You've got to be a little organized, Jace. Uh, marriage. You've got, now you've got marriage certificates, passports, apartment leases, more. You've got to come up with a better system. Why do I say this? Well, besides the fact that you could live out of your back seat, <laughs> one of my other favorite stories is the time that Steph and Ashley and Lydia cleaned your room. Jason was away for the weekend, and so we walked in and climbed over 1,000 Greek flashcards that were scattered on the floor. And after doing load after load of laundry, we discovered quite a few funny things. We found Jason's passport in the bottom of a ripped up folder. We found a check that he never cashed. We found a mostly eaten apple at the bottom of his clothes basket. <laughs> the only thing we couldn't find was a single pair of underwear, clean or dirty. <laughs> so trust me, Jace, it will serve Jessica very well to find a better system for organizing yourself. Now, number three, the most important tip I've learned from you is to remember who you are because of Jesus. Over and over again since we've been friends, you've taught me that the truest thing about me isn't really about me, but about who God is. You taught me he was sovereign and good and bad, that he loved me, and that he was worth hoping in. Probably more than anything else, marriage is going to trust is going to test that for you guys. But I hope that as you've taught me over and over again, that you will run to Jesus every time. You and Jess have both been about the gospel for as long as I've known you. And I can't wait to see you guys make much of Jesus for the rest of your lives together. And lastly, number four, probably the tip I admire most about you, is the selflessness that Jason has. Chances are, if you guys have been around Jason for any length of time, you've been served by him by how selfless he is. In the last few months, Jason has done things like drive all over the suburbs just to get me dress clothes whenever I forgot them for work. Or uh, even last month, him and Jessica basically gave up their free evening so they could stay the night at our apartment so they could drive Steph and I to work the next day because we had no car. Things like that happen over and over again. And so I thank you for how selfless you are. I've learned a lot from that. And it's obviously a good tip to remember to serve Jess selflessly through your marriage. So I love you guys. Uh, I do want you to remember one thing. Go on your honeymoon, have lots of fun, but hurry home because we've got a very intense game of settlers waiting for you. <laughs> but here we are. Jason, you finally pulled it off. If all of you would please raise your glasses with me and toast to the most impressive feat that Jason has ever done.
dated Jessica for years and still convinced her to say I do. Cheers.